Hi there. Today we are going to talk about percentiles. So we have this kid that was just seen in the nutritional clinic and the doctor said the child's weight is in the 90th percentile. What does this even mean? Well, stick around to find out. A percentile is a measure used in statistics to understand how data is distributed. Percentiles divide a data set into 100 equal parts and indicates the value below which a given percentage of the data in a data set falls. There are 99 percentiles that divide a data set into 100 equal parts. The 50th percentile is the same as the median of the data set, which is also the same as the 5th decile or the 2nd quartile. Now, if you want to learn more about quartiles or deciles, check out the card above or the links in the description of this video. Now, when you have ungrouped data, you can find the percentile using this simple formula. PI is equal to I multiplied by N plus 1 in bracket, all divided by 100. Where I is the percentile number. So for the first percentile, I will be 1. And for example, the 50th percentile, I will be 50 and so on. So I will range from 1 to 99, right? Since we have only 99 percentiles. While n is the number of data points in the data set. Please note that when we are using this formula, what we get is the position of the percentile. And that's why the formula has th as a superscript, yeah, meaning position. With the position obtained from the formula, we can now get the actual data value for the percentile by looking at the data set. Percentiles, just like quartiles and deciles, are expressed in the same unit of measurement as the data values. They are not expressed in percentage. For example, if the data we are dealing with refers to height, then the corresponding percentiles will be expressed in meters or feet or whatever is the unit that the data is in. So let's take this formula for a spin, shall we? This is data of weights of nine children from a nutritional clinic of a comprehensive health center in Zaria, Nigeria. Now let's find the 20th percentile. So using this formula, the first thing to do is to sort the data in ascending order. Great. So using the formula, I will be 20. N is 9 because we had 9 children. And putting both of these into the formula, we'll have P20 is equal to 20 times 9 plus 1 in bracket, right? All divided by 100. This will give us 200 divided by 100 which is 2. So remember I said this formula only gives the position and not the value. So our 20th percentile value lies in the second position. Now looking at our sorted data, our second position is here. So our 20th percentile value is 6 kilograms. Awesome. Let's try another example. So let's find the 50th percentile, that's the median, right? So using our nice formula, I will be 50, N is 9 because we know there are 9 children, and putting both of these into the formula, we'll have P50 is equal to 50 times 9 plus 1, in bracket, right? All divided by 100. And this will give us 500 divided by 100, which is 5. So our 50th percentile value lies in the fifth position. Looking at our sorted data, our fifth position is here. So our 50th percentile value is 8.7 kilograms. Easy peasy. So how do we interpret our percentiles in the context of our data? For the 20th percentile, what this simply means is that 20% of the children were 6 kg or less. And for the 50th percentile, this means 50% of the children in the sample were 8.7 kg or less. And you can see this when you look at the sorted data. So percentiles give us an idea of the distribution of the data. Let's talk briefly about how this is also useful in public health. The CDC's growth chart are an example of percentiles used in public health data. These charts use percentiles to show how a child's measurement such as weight, height, and head circumference compared to other children of the same age and sex. So like the example of the child I gave at the beginning of this video, 
If the child is in the 90th percentile for weight, it means 90% of the children of the same age and sex have a lower weight than that child. The CDC's growth reference charts use the 5th and the 95th percentiles as the outermost percentile cutoff values, indicating abnormal growth. So you see how these percentiles are useful in statistics and public health, right? Now you know how to compute percentiles and you're good to go. Now if you've gained value with this video and you want to support my efforts, then give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues so as to help them. Now if you're interested in learning more about biostatistics, then consider subscribing to this channel and click the notification bell so you'll be notified immediately I release my next video. In my next video, God willing, we will be discussing percentiles for grouped data. See you in the next video and as always, thanks for watching.